Diablo 3. Ah, the good old times. I've been a fan of Diablo 3 since its initial release on the PC. I remember the good old days of the real money auction house. And then when that was taken down, I was still a diehard fan. Played it on every single platform that it's released on. A PC, a Mac. When Reaper of Souls came out on the PlayStation 4, I played that. I even played it on the Xbox. So long story short, I played a ton of Diablo 3 in my time. And even Diablo 2 and majority of Blizzard titles, let's be honest, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, the list could just go on and on. But today we're here to talk about Diablo 3, the eternal collection on the Nintendo Switch. So a few weeks ago, I got to try out Diablo 3 on the Nintendo Switch with the new Ganon armor and the different things that you could do on the Switch version. I can't believe this is real life, but thank you again so much Blizzard for this review copy for my Nintendo Club. Due to the mature nature of this game, I was not able to play this during a Nintendo Club session. But Blizzard is so kind and actually hooked me up with three more game codes for my friends. Blizzard wanted us to try out the four-person local co-op multiplayer with four different switches, so of course I was eager to jump at that opportunity. But we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So long story short, if you are a fan of Diablo 3, this is by far the best edition of them all. The fact that you can play Diablo 3 on the go, pick it up and take it on the train, on the bus, at a friend's house, it blows my mind. You could be in the middle of a Nephilim rift, have to go to work, hit the sleep button on the switch, and then return back from work right in the middle of the rift where you left off. I was doing the same exact things with the bounties. It was incredible. And if you're hooked up to the online, your friends can jump into your party at any time that you want. It's like Diablo was made for the Switch. It fits this platform perfectly. Honestly, I cannot recommend it enough, but I have to be careful because this game again is very mature and not meant for any one of our students at Brat Primary. But if you're their parent and you have a Nintendo Switch, you need to do yourself a favor and pick this game up this holiday season. You will not be disappointed. Now let's talk about that four person multiplayer local battle. Just like in Splatoon 2 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you can have a local network setting where you'll have a host switch, sets up a local connection where other players can join that lobby for a battle. So in Diablo 3, I would set up a room and I could say, you know, I want to do story mode or adventure mode. I want to, to go on a Nephilim Rift. Maybe I wanted to knock out some bounties before work. You just set the room up and you set it up to local connection and anybody else that's in that local connection can join your battle. The one thing that we noticed is that I started my room off as a seasonal character and one of my three friends did not have the Nintendo online service. So she was not actually able to join the seasonal character room that I had created. So what I then did is created a normal, non-seasonal story mode character and began a new room and everybody was able to join in no problem. My friends that did have Nintendo online were able to join my seasonal characters on that local connection. Again, overall, this game is a must buy in my book. If you like getting loot, finding different sets of armor and weapons, and trying to get the perfect roll on items, then you are going to be obsessed with Diablo 3. Make sure if you have this game, please get my friend code because we definitely gotta get in there together and make sure that we protect the halls of Sanctuary. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and don't forget, work hard, play hard. See you guys later.